Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the web page below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. Given that position A is at north 45 degrees with an unknown easterly longitude, position B is at north 45 degrees, east 45 degrees and 15 minutes. The distance from A to B is 280 miles and B is to the east of A. What is the longitude of position A? Is it A, east 38 degrees 39 minutes, B, east 49 degrees 57 minutes, C, east 40 degrees 33 minutes, or D, east 51 degrees 51 minutes? Now to solve this question, what I'm going to do is to start with a straight line to represent the north 45 latitude, given that both positions A and B are on the same latitude. The question also tells me that B is at east 45, 15 degrees, and that B is to the east of A. So I'm going to put B there at east 45 degrees and 15 minutes. If B is to the east of A, then it stands to reason that A is to the west of B. Obviously, the longitude of A is going to be less than east 45 degrees, 15 minutes. Just as a bit of exam technique, if you look at the optional answers, you can see that two of the answers are more than 45 degrees and two are less. It can't be the answers which are greater than 45 degrees. It must be one of the two which are less than 45 degrees. What we have to do is to find the change of longitude between B and A to work out the longitude at A. To help us, we have the distance 280 nautical miles and we know that both positions are on the same latitude. So what formula do we use where we have a distance, a change of longitude, and a common latitude? That would be the departure formula. And departure, which is the east-west distance along a, chain, uh, along a line of latitude, is equal to the change of longitude in minutes multiplied by the cosine of the latitude. We know the departure. This is the east-west distance in nautical miles. So that's 280. The change of longitude is what we're trying to find. And the latitude of which we need the cosine is a constant 45 degrees. Completing the next line, the cosine of 45 is 0 0.707. Okay, what we need to do next is to group the numbers together on one side of the equal sign and the part that we're trying to find out on the other side of the equal sign. So if I put 280 equals change of longitude, then I need to transpose 0 0.707 over to the other side of the equal sign. If you change sides, you change signs, so multiplied becomes dividing. So 280 divided by 0 0.707 gives us the change of longitude. Referring to my calculator, 280 divided by 0 0.707 equals 
396 minutes. Three hundred and ninety six. If we convert that into degrees in minutes by dividing by sixty minutes, it gives me six degrees and thirty six minutes. What I have to do now is to work out the longitude at A. Obviously, if I'm traveling to the west from east forty five fifteen, the number is going to be getting less. So in order to work it out, I just subtract six degrees and thirty six minutes from East 4515. I'll draw that up here. And on the calculator, if I enter 45 DMS button, 15 DMS button, minus 6 DMS button, 36 DMS button equals 38 degrees and 39 minutes. So the final answer is east 038 degrees and 39 minutes. Optional answer is A.